This is a 15 year old mini laptop. It has a screen size of only 10.1 inches and it sports a whopping 1GB of DDR2 RAM. Here's a 15 inch 2011 MacBook in comparison. Recently I had great success using Linux on a 2011 iMac. So I thought, can this laptop be saved and made usable with a light distro? That's what I'll try in this video. And spoiler, it wasn't an easy task. So before we disassemble it, let's explore the PC. I found it on Marketplace where someone was giving it away. It does have a user, but the seller gave me the password and said no critical data are on it. So we're on Windows 7 and it's in Danish. Apologies. I want to find more info on the system. It's an HP Mini 210 with a 1.6 GHz Intel Atom processor. Ooh, Minesweeper. I played this a lot as a child on the family computer. Although, to this day, I still have no idea how to play it. So can we open a browser? It has Chrome installs. Okay, let's try YouTube. No, our PC think it's the 1st of January 2008. Now, lastly, the settler did mention something interesting that he left on the mini. Warcraft 3. That there is an orc encampment hidden somewhere over the next ridge. Mm-hmm. I guess it's somewhat playable. The PC has a decent port selection. Headphone, USB, VGA and on the other side an SD slot, a few more USBs and an Ethernet port. Anyway, it's time to open the computer, because I want to put a SATA SSD in it. Let's first remove the battery, and to remove the back cover I hold the orange buttons here, then I not so gently pry it off. Here's the single RAM slot, and my gift to you, a Windows starter key. So the hard drive's under this plastic. Let's remove it. I can lift up here, unplug the SATA cable. So it's a 250GB Toshiba hard drive. Now for the replacement, I used this cheap SSD. It was like $20. Let's force the cover back on. So I've put Lubuntu on this USB. It's a lightweight Ubuntu based distro. A popular choice for older systems. Or so I hear. Try or install Lubuntu. Okay, it's loading. Probe with driver B43 failed with error. Oh, we got a cursor. This is a cool screen. Ethernet disconnected. Okay, we're now in my living room, um, as I only had a short cable. So I need to be close to my router. Install. The system is not plugged in. Oh, okay, one sec. Yes, we are indeed in Copenhagen. Normal installation, so I yanked this SSD from the MacBook you saw before and I've created a petition for Lubuntu. Hopefully it works. What's your name? Fokai. Can you guess my password? While it's installing, let's make a list of things to do when we're in. If we get in, that is. So I forgot to test the webcam before. I think the menu will be best suited for document editing and annotating and highlighting PDFs. Maybe some web browsing and we should try loading up a YouTube video. Okay, it's been stuck on 29% for like 40 minutes. The caps lock doesn't light up when I press it, so that's not a good sign. Let's just try again. I tried two more times, but alas, it didn't work. Let's try MX Linux instead. Maybe it's better suited for all the hardware. And it has a 32-bit version. By the way, I'm still entirely new to Linux and I have no idea what I'm doing, so any advice is appreciated. Install MX Linux. Can you guess my password? Installation complete. That's good news. Finish. And there we have it. Okay, let's try the webcam. Goofs view. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's brilliant. Such great quality. Let's open LibreOffice. This seems fine. I mean, it's word processor, right? How about a new background? Mm -hmm -hmm. Oh, this one seems appropriate. Now can we stream a YouTube video? Let's open Firefox. Okay, we're currently maxing out the CPU and the RAM is at 82%. I guess we won't watch videos. How about some basic browsing? Oh, the keyboard stopped working. Brilliant. Let's reboot. Yeah, the old turn it off and turn it on again worked. You can read about chimpanzees and this bad boy all day long. What about a PDF? I mean, yeah, it works. I kind of expected that. Let's see if there's any games pre-installed. Games? 
L Breakout 2, a ball and paddle game with nice graphics. Oh, it's one of these. I played this a lot on my first computer. It runs well, nice. Okay, in conclusion, this project was kind of a fail. I set my expectations a bit too high. I hope to use it for basic tasks, because I think the PC is quite cool and I like the size, but it is devastatingly slow. If you have any recommendations for what I should try, please let me know in the comments. Perhaps there is a solution. Anyway, thanks for watching. Oh, and thank you so much for the support on my last video. I'm currently working on a more comprehensive review of Linux Mint, as I've been using it daily for the last week. Okay, bye.